Malik Willis who? Forget that. Bring in Kenny Pickett, Kenny Heisman, Kenny Pittsburgh, whatever the hell you want to call him. And by the way, I mean, Kenny Pittsburgh is the nickname. It's clearly the best. Get Kenny Pickettsburg out of here. That's terrible. And also, Kenny Wood, give me a break. The Dan Marino Redemption, all the way back to the 80s, the Steelers had a chance to draft an elite pick quarterback to succeed a Hall of Fame quarterback in Terry Bradshaw. That pick quarterback was Dan Marino, and they passed on him, which led to some tough years in the 80s and 90s. Don't get me wrong, the team was good, but what were they missing? An elite quarterback. Fast forward to the 2020s, Hall of Fame quarterback Ben Roethlisberger retired from the Steelers. An elite pick quarterback is in the NFL draft. You think the Steelers were going to pass up on that opportunity again? Or did they learn from their first mistake? We saw our answer yesterday. Listen, obviously I've talked about Willis being the top pick for the Steelers if we were talking quarterbacks due to his upside, cannon of an arm, running ability, and also fitting Canada's system. Don't get me wrong, I'm still pumped about this pick. And I've also said that if we took Kenny Pickett, Pitt connection, I think he's a good quarterback, then yeah, I was going to be excited. But the excitement, I think, turned more into realistic optimism yesterday because all quarterbacks were available at the 20 pick. And who did the Steelers take? Kenny Pickett. They had their choice of Malik Willis, Desmond Ritter, Kenny Pickett, Matt Corral, Sam Howe, any of those dudes. And they took Kenny Pickett. So that gets me excited. If you had all those options, and the Steelers, you heard Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin say how high they had Kenny Pickett on their board. There's also rumors they actually tried to trade up to 15 to get him. They didn't expect him to be there. I think there are reasons for legitimate optimism and that Kenny could be that guy. But I'm hearing some people say it was a wasted pick. Who else did you want the Steelers to draft at that point? I mean, Kyle Hamilton was gone. Jordan Davis was gone. All the receivers were gone. It was basically between Devin Lloyd, I guess you could throw Devontae Wyatt in there, and the quarterbacks. And obviously the Steelers had Kenny Pickett really high on their board. He was their number one quarterback. So if that's the case, I'm good with it. And here's the crazy thing. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just Pitt fans maybe. I went to Pitt. I got to see Kenny Pickett play there these last however many years. And him to succeed and do really well, almost win the Heisman. It just doesn't seem real. I wasn't actually expecting it to happen. It's almost too good to be true type of story. And especially with how the draft process played out, it looked like the Steelers were leaning into Malik Willis. They were going to go in a different direction. And the fact that the Steelers actually did pass up on Dan Marino, I know that's way in the past, it's way in the 80s, but if they're going to pass up on that dude coming out of Pitt, then it's not that far of a stretch that they'll pass up on any other quarterbacks that are coming out of there. Kevin Colbert himself talked about him and maybe some of the evaluators for the Steelers being a little too critical of Pitt players because they are right next door and they get to see a lot of them. It's just a feel-good story. Like, you couldn't write it up any better. It's one thing for Aiden Hutchinson to go to Detroit, but this is different. It's literally Pittsburgh to Pittsburgh. Like, Hutchinson went from Ann Arbor to Detroit like around the area, or even like LeBron James, Akron to Cleveland. This is literally University of Pittsburgh to the Pittsburgh Steelers in the same facilities, played at Heinz Field. It's just crazy. And we're talking the quarterback position too, the guy that's supposed to be the face of your franchise. He was the face of Pitt over these past couple of years. Now he's going to be, you're supposed to be the face of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Aiden Hutchinson, he's just like an outside linebacker. Like I said, crazy, stunned, excited, all the above. I just didn't really expect this to happen. And then a side note from yesterday's first round, how about Franco? How amped up he was. He didn't hide his excitement when he saw Kenny Pickett's name on the draft card. Kind of reminded me of like your drunk buddy who nudges you out of the bar because he saw something sick on his phone. It was probably the chick he was texting finally responded back, or he's winning a game that he placed a bet on. Uh, what's this? Hold on. Oh, okay. Um, yes, just got word that we do have a sponsor for today's Big Deep News. Yes, this edition of the show is brought to you by Handstands. If it wasn't for Handstands, Kenny Pickett wouldn't be a Pittsburgh Steeler. Rumor has it they took him off their boards after his combine performance. The hand size didn't really measure up, if you know what I mean. But after seeing the hand growth for his pro day, the team couldn't resist. And with Kenny Pickett being a perfect example of a Handstands success story, what are you waiting on? Buy Handstands today. Handstands, the leaders in male enhancement supplements for your hands. Thank you, Handstands, for the sponsorship. And with that being said, the first round is over, and we have the second and third rounds today. Who should we be looking for? What's the strategy? To me, it's simple. You go safety or linebacker in one of the rounds, and then in the opposite round, you go receiver. Here are some of the top targets available on my board in no particular order. George Pickens, Daxton Hill, Sky Moore, Lewis Seen, Jaquan Brisker, Justin Ross, Christian Watson, Alec Pierce, Jalen Petrie, 
Christian Harris, Chad Muma, Troy Anderson, N'Kobe Dean, John Meche, Nick Cross, and sleeper flyer pick. This is a cornerback, Tariq Wolin. But yeah, essentially, if you go like George Pickens in the second round and take a linebacker or safety in the third, you could take Troy Anderson, Nick Cross. But if you go linebacker in the second, say N'Kobe Dean, then go Justin Ross, Alec Pierce in the third. It's pretty simple. That's a foolproof strategy. So that is it for Big Deke News. Let me know what you guys think of the Kenny Pickett pick down below in the comments. Stay chilling. Peace.